Yeah, John Martin now live and local at the Rocky Mountain ADA Center to talk about all the progress we've made so far and the people it's affected. John? Hey, good morning, Craig. Good morning, Kimberly. We're learning. I, I, I'm learning a lot. I hope you guys are learning a lot. Yeah, talking about 25 years of the ADA. Hey, I'm Carol from our house, which until um, like a day ago, I didn't know existed, so I apologize, <laughs> but maybe there's some other people who need to know what you do. Tell us a little bit about our house and what you do. Sure, so we are a local nonprofit. Mm -hmm. We work with uh, adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and we provide day program and residential services for them. So with our day program, we take individuals out into the community yeah. and we work on life skills, independent living skills, and the focus is really just to help each individual become as independent as possible. Well, let's talk about the, the, the need for it here in the Pikes Peak region. I mean, I know, you know, I, and as we're learning throughout the morning, as my eyes are being open to it, but the, the need for a, a service like yours in this area. Yeah, there's a huge need. Um, we started about seven years ago, and when I started with the organization, we had about uh, 15 to 20 individuals mm -hmm. that we worked with. That was uh, around six years ago. And currently, we work with over 120. And that's just our agency. Wow. So, and there are quite a number of agencies here in the El Paso County region. And we're talking anything from autism on up. I mean, is, is it a pretty broad spectrum? Yes, it's a very broad spectrum. We work a lot with a lot of people with a variety of disabilities and ab ability levels. Mm -hmm. So we have some individuals that are very independent in um, their activities of daily living. They're independently mobile. And then we also have individuals that are virtually a total assist. So they really need help um, from a caregiver or family member or somebody like sure. that for all of their uh, basic needs. Sure, and this is Colorado Springs is a, a pretty transient community because there's military and a lot of people are kind of coming on because it's Colorado and people want to come <laughs> all the time. And if they're not really familiar um, with, with this and they want to get in touch with you, what's the best way to go about doing that? Um, so we have a website, um, ourhouseinc.org, and the great thing about that is that we have a lot of videos on there. Probably the best one on there is Meet the Students. Okay. And we have a number of our individuals that we provide services to that are on that video just talking about what it is we do, what they like about it, and the benefit that they receive. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. We're learning so much stuff today. Oh, my gosh. I'm just trying to just hopefully we can regurgitate and send it back out. But, yeah, that's what's going on. We have more coming up, actually, uh, here in just a few minutes, guys. So stick with us as we're learning together uh, about the ADA in 25 years. Mike, John, thanks so much. So many resources out there. Yeah, for sure.